Okay, see, pilot, this video is for you. AVAB colon dark start. We're focusing on the INS lineup. We'll go to the comm menu, ground crew, ground electrical power on. Chief, turn on the ground power. All right, ground power is on. Let's turn on the battery. Also, turn up our upfront controller here. and our screens on the side. Coming over to either the left or the right side, we'll hit EHSD, then data, then aircraft. Then all the information we have is here, ready? Come down here and turn the knob to INS ground. Since we're here on the ground, you will have noticed the screen totally blacks out during the alignment. Here's what the HUD looks like before INS alignment. It takes about one minute for the INS to align. Just something to note here, before you do this, you'll want to go to your main menu, options, special, and then go to the Harrier settings. And then the setting that has to do with the INS align, you're going to choose the second setting that has to do with something like uh, heading, slaved heading or stored heading, something like that. You want to enable that, RASVAM told us to, because otherwise this might glitch out if it stays on the default setting. And so we're here and we remain and we just wait for INS alignment. Definitely not bad compared to the Mirage and a bit better than the A10. <laughs> Ah, uh, such a wonderful day. All right, there's alignment complete. So now, important step, we come back down here and turn it to IFA with two right clicks. And then we have our thing up here. So that's, uh, that's about it. There you go. Bye.